protein juice. That is pretty unheard of. Actually, I've never heard of it before. But the world is all about first. The world is all about creating new things, innovating, doing things differently, taking your own spin on it. But this company called Myoband, apparently, just heard of them. Never thought this was a real thing, protein juice. But this product is called Oblivion Plus, And it is basically protein powder with BCAAs in them. But it actually, allegedly, is supposed to go with water, not milk. So you don't get that rank taste in your, in your protein shaker after or before the gym that you have to clean out, it's water. And apparently it's supposed to taste good with water as well, which is shocking because protein powder with water generally doesn't taste great. You kind of just have to grit your teeth and drink it. It's fine, it's not the worst thing in the world. I've tasted much worse things in the world than bad protein powder. But um, if this goes with water and it tastes good, Sign me up! Hey, no Ridge of the comic here right now. I'm just gonna be tasting, taste testing a new product called Oblivion Plus from a company called Myoband, as I just talked about there. Now, this is a very different type of product. The thing is, I'm more used to more traditional, regular types of protein powder, like, you know, 20 grams of protein, it's got maybe five grams of carb, 10 grams of carb, and chuck it in there if you're bulking. And if you're doing more or less, and maybe you have a different type of powder, but you just go to the shop and find one that works for you. But this is uh, distinct and different. I'll just lay off what it has in here quickly. Uh, it has electrolytes, which is good. Refreshing protein juice flavors. It has multiple flavors. I got a red berry flavor. Um, I got two packs of this stuff. So if it's bad, then I mean, we have some problems here. And just to be clear, this is not my endorsement right now. My endorsement <laughs> and my opinion will come obviously after the tasting. Um, but zero carbs, zero sugar, zero fats. I personally like it when products have sugar in them because that way I know it's sugar as opposed to like sweeteners or stevia or anything else. I like it being sugar. If it's got a bit of sugar in it, then I'm fine with it. I have no problem with it. I prefer sugar than, than saccharine in my opinion, but everyone's different. Some people prefer having zero sugar in their diet and that's that's not me, not me at all. Essentially, the idea is that you you don't have the DOMS after your exercise because of the extra BCAAs, because of all the other stuff in it. It's got creatine, monohydrate, uh, L-glutamine, obviously the BCAAs. Uh, so it's got a lot of stuff in it as well as electrolytes. I'm gonna open this up now, but I do think that the market in general has evolved a lot over the last 10, 15 years since I started really working out intermittently. Like you go through phases, sometimes you'll work out a lot and sometimes you won't. You go through basically months or years of working out tirelessly and then a couple months or years of not working out at all. Um, but nowadays you do see some protein powders which have other vitamins in them. Um, they might have iron or, or other elements in them that, that make them better for you and they have other supplements in them. So this one is, well, it's just a plain type of pinky powder in there, but you're supposed to take about 16 grams, 15, 16 grams of it, like a scoop. So I'm gonna take a, a scoop out of this and it says mix it with about um, 500 mils of water here. So it should dissolve pretty easily. And we're going to find out exactly how easily this shenanigans does dissolve here uh, once the shaking commences. Also, okay, well, it is dissolving in some ways, but um, obviously it will froth because of the shake. But it does say you can just stir this in uh, because of the way it dissolves very easily, apparently. So, wow, that is, that's pretty much dissolved already. That's pretty quick. I have to give them that. There is a lot of froth at the top but you get that with protein powders anyway. So it also has 7.5 grams of protein in it, as well as five grams, it says, of, uh, you know, branch chain amino acids. So it's got a lot of stuff going on on there. Uh, so we're gonna test this one out. It's got that froth at the top, which, you know, no one loves the froth. I guess some people do like the froth. It's like the head of a beer. Some people like the head, some people don't. It just depends on your preferences, but it doesn't smell bad. It smells, Decent. It smells a bit sweet at the end of the day. Whenever you have a strawberry flavored drink, unless it's literally like strawberry juice, it normally has that type of smell. So uh, I'll, I'll taste this one out now. Let's have a check. It's not as sweet as it smells. It smells pretty sweet. It doesn't taste as sweet as that. So it's much more palatable than I thought it would be after the smelling. Like before the smelling, it wasn't really hitting me there. You know what it kind of tastes like? It kind of tastes like you've taken 
Ah, you know, this isn't a bad thing by any means. It tastes a little healthy. You know, you know when you have the taste of like a celery juice, you know you're like, this doesn't taste great, but you know it's healthy for you, so you drink it occasionally. This one tastes like it's healthy for you, but you're like okay with the taste of it. It's not the worst tasting thing in the world. I've had protein shakes that are terrible tasting. I think everyone has. This isn't bad considering it's water. Like if I get a regular protein powder and chuck it in some water, it is not gonna be tasting very tasty. It's gonna be tasting pretty disgustingly. So because of that, I'm gonna say this is surprisingly good because it's with the water. If this is with milk, I'm not sure it would work. Otherwise they would have said it can go with milk, but this is being branded. This is being branded as the first ever protein juice. So your juice heads, take that out of context and that's a bad thing, but um, uh, if you don't like having milk with your protein shakes, or if you're lactose intolerant like me, then this is actually a pretty good option. I saw some reviews online saying that some people actually have replaced their Ribena or they've replaced their dilute drink that they have during the day to get water down them with this and they just drink like two or three glasses of this a day. So. Maybe that's an alternative way to do it. I mean, working out, it helps with the DOMS. Starting to work out again, I will be at least. So hopefully this is something which I can integrate. And because it doesn't taste that bad for being with water, I mean, you have to take the pluses. You're never gonna get something that is like delicious with protein powders. It's just not gonna happen. But if you can get something which tastes good, I mean, you can't really ask for more. I would say with the flavors, I got the strawberry. Uh, there is an orange, a lemon lime, and a black currant. Man, do the world a favor, whoever you are, build out your infrastructure, do a pineapple flavor. Pineapple is the flavor. Don't do mango, all right? But pineapple, slyly, I'm not saying pineapple coconut, but pineapple is not a bad idea. And I think most people would appreciate a pineapple flavor. Uh, you know, so maybe look into that. Maybe you've got that feedback already. Maybe you haven't. Maybe people just wanting the pina coladas and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, not bad. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Not as bad as I thought it would be. So because of that, I will say the taste is surprisingly good. I'll have a look as to see how the product is, obviously, over the next couple of days and weeks and months, maybe. But taste-wise, it's, uh, it's on point, I guess. Now it's just to see how it actually affects your body. Anyway, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then what are you doing, boys? Just subscribe, all right? Just do it, as Shia LaBeouf would have said back in the day. You know, the good old days with Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, like the good old days. Just subscribe. Now, I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been Graham. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. You've been doing it every day for over two years now. We ain't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality shitty content. Because we're hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. Also bring the bagwas. Bagwas means nonsense in Punjabi. And we also bring that. We bring a lot. We bring a little. We do a lot. We do a little, but we always are consistent with the stuff we bring. So see you tomorrow. More of the same, but slightly different, but essentially the very same. Once more. See you then. Skadoosh. <laughs> <laughs>